Gucci Times Adidas or Adidas unboxing. I let the Balenciaga Times Adidas collab slip me by and I'm really upset because I really wanted the triple S's and that collection was only available for a week. Oh my gosh, I really wish I had got them and it was already too late. So I thought, you know what? Adidas times Gucci is not going to slip me by. Went to Gucci and then literally couldn't get back. So it then took me another two hours, two hours to get back. And it was meant to be like an hour walk, if that, because couldn't get a car service because all the roads are closed. The tube is closed. I thought I could like, you know, life hack, go under the city in the tube. No, that's closed. So I had to just walk and walk and walk until I could get through and it took me two hours. Quite honestly, I would say it was a British horror story, but there you go, not being over dramatic or anything. So anyway, let's actually get into the unboxing. Unlike my Prada unboxing a few weeks ago, I am not underwhelmed by the unboxing experience of Gucci because I have had a I have had a sneak peek, I'll be honest. And then in here, there's like just some blank envelopes. So I'm like, oh right, what am I meant to send in there, Gucci? My Christmas cards. But who knows? It's a huge bag because uh, we got some shoes. So this is the box that they come in. So it's got Gucci on here and it's got the iconic Adidas and Free Stripes. And that goes all the way around. And then it has this um, sort of Kingfisher Blue draw cord, I'm calling it, um, on here. And you can just pull this out. Oh, I'm struggling a bit here. <laughs> this comes out like this. Okay, and what I like inside is you've got the whole like, Gucci Adidas pattern in there as well, which is really nice. And then also, as you can see here, on the tissue paper, it's also Gucci and Adidas, rather than just like one or the other. And I didn't get anything from the Balenciaga Times Gucci Hacker Project collection, um, but I know they did kind of do the same with that. Like I think if you've got a pair of shoes, one dust bag would be Gucci, one would be Balenciaga. And I really love little things like that. So we open these up and still don't get to see what they are. Again, it comes in these um, Gucci Times Adidas uh, dust bags. And I think we've got in here, this is like the authenticity card, etc. here. And then also a white spare pair of laces. So if we take them out and uh, then Oh, it's another dust bag. They've been mummified. Okay, so once, once we then get in here, see what I mean though, like compared to my Prada experience, I mean, I've shopped at Gucci loads of times before, but like, so I wouldn't really care, but Prada it was my first time ever really shopping there. And I was just so underwhelmed and I was just like, oh, okay. But Gucci, like I think this collaboration, the packaging at least is really, really nice. So you can always see them through here. I got, it's the suede and leather gazelles. Now, I know what you might be thinking, that these look quite basic, and to an extent they are, and you can see it's got gazelle written on here. It's got the Adidas free stripes. This is all leather. Try and make that focus. It's got Gucci and the Adidas symbol there, and they are just plain white, and this is what I really wanted, was just a nice little pair of you know, sneakers that I can just hop around town in, you know, go to the shops, get my Starbucks, they're nothing, I don't want to say they're, not, they're, not, they're nothing special because the quality on here is sublime. The stitching is all perfect. I really love the little kind of, it's like you get those scissors in school, you know, how it's got the, how it's cut on the free stripes there, if you know what I mean, the zigzag pattern. <laughs> so, so immature saying that, but I just thought it was really cute. It says inside Gucci, the brand with the free Gucci, with the other symbol again, then the brand with the free stripes made in Italy. And uh, you can just see that in there. Again, there's that on the back, which is really nice in gold. And this leather's all really nice. It is a bit hard, the leather. And I do think that wearing these in is going to be a bit of effort. And let me one second. I thought let's compare them to my other Gucci Ace sneakers. So here they are side by side. And you can see, actually, so that if you already own the Gucci Aces, these are probably a really good one to go off. So it looks like the Gazelles are a tad bit lower 
than the Ace sneakers. These might be in a bigger size. So I got these in a size 8, UK 8, and these are £575. I will put the dollar amount as well, but um, I'll have to Google that. You can see it's got the free stripes there for Gucci. Here it's got the Gazelle free stripes for Adidas as the normal gazelles do. I don't own any, but I've seen them. It also has down here, let me just make this focus, on here where the laces go in, this is all suede. And then this bit going across here and in the middle, this is all a really nice, um, very, very light, I'd say stone kind of colour. Got Gucci and the Adidas symbol here as well. And on the bottom, which is always fun, is uh, the Adidas... Oh, the Adidas symbol with Gucci made in Italy. And then it's got intertwining Gucci and Adidas symbols on the bottom, which is really cool. I have tried these on in store and they do fit pretty much the same as the Ace sneakers do as well. So again, if you already own the Gazelles, which I can't speak for, I imagine they probably are the same kind of fit, but they do fit the same as the aces. And the one thing I will say is where the leather feels quite hard on these, I did have quite a tough time wearing these Gucci Ace sneakers in back in the day when I got them. And um, the leather was quite hard for a while. And these did hurt quite a bit when having to wear these in. And I'm assuming it is going to be the same with these Gucci Times Adidas Gazelles, which is annoying because they are so beautiful. And I just think these are really clean and just simple, really. And that's kind of what I wanted. I did have a look at the orange Gucci print canvas ones. I think you may be able to get a leather one as well. They were totally sold out. They were like quite extra. And I was thinking, do you know what? Even though these are really cool, how the hell am I going to style these? I saw they had these in stock and I thought, yeah, like, I'll just go for some plain ones that, you know, because it's got the, the, the Gucci quality on these but the Adidas simplicity. You've got some nice materials of the leather and the suede. So overall, I'm really, really happy with these. Really, really, really happy with the packaging, etc. I think they've really gone above and beyond with that. If you do pop into your local Gucci store, you'll notice when you walk in at the moment, all the mannequins, everything is very, very heavily Gucci times Adidas oriented so it is still available at the moment at least when i'm filming this this video might not come out for a week or two after filming so actually what i'm saying may be hit or miss i'm not sure depends where you live but here in london i went to the bond street store i'm really happy with these i think these are going to go really well with, you know a clean pair of shorts or jeans i don't really wear many jeans but if i do these would be really simple and i think you could pair these with a hell of a lot and that would really get the cost per wear down as well if you think about that which is something i try to think about i did do a video on it but um we all know i'm a bit of a shopaholic so <laughs> I don't know if really I can vouch for it as well as I try to. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and um, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I will see you in next week's video.